Can you see this big box? This big box is the CPU air cooler that's inside this big box, which we're going to be taking a look at and sticking it with a 6700K and obviously throttling the CPU, or trying to, obviously just torturing it, throwing everything at it, just to see if the CPU air cooler can handle it. So this is the Scythe Ninja 5 CPU air cooler and it's absolutely huge. You can see that it's probably got about like four different heat sinks connected into one. This can fit every CPU, CPU that's going other than the Threadripper. You would think if it comes in this box and it's this kind of size, it should be able to do Threadripper, but it doesn't. It does 1151 uh, sockets, 1150, 775 sockets, Intel AM2, M3 and M4 and 266. So it does all of them basically but not thread ripper so we're going to take it out and show you what you get in the box um obviously i've already built this computer already i just need to put the cpu air cooler on and uh, see if it will fit in this case uh, this case is an aero cool case so it might fit in there so hopefully it does <coughs> but anyway inside the box you get loads of stuff you get a, a dual um, PWM connector. So it's got a four pin and a, a slot that's fit, uh, small enough to fit in a normal DC connector end. It's always good to know this because some of them are like, uh, uh, they don't fit, um, especially when they're going to use it for something else. So this one's saying this is your main one, this is your second one. But yeah, this is all good. You got that cable there. Then we've got the Scythe uh, thermal grease. I uh, don't know who it's by, but it says thermal grease. But it says something else, it's the fonts of the, the lettering on there. Anyway, you get all like the clips as well. So you get four clips to obviously connect to the actual fans itself. And then uh, we get all of this, it's all over the place. Uh, oh my God. All right, let's, let's um, do this, unravel it. Right, so we get four pins that go underneath to support and secure to the back of, of uh, the retention bracket of the motherboard, which is this. This also fits, uh, does this fit the AMD one as well? Yeah, it does, it fits the AMD one as well. I think it does anyway. Well, I'll check that out. Anyway, so this is, uh, is this the AMD bracket or the Intel bracket? And then we've got all the screws as well. So it comes with like four long screws, four flat screws, and four standoff screws, depending if you're putting it in the 26 motherboard or not. They say, oh, this is good. They also include the, a nice screwdriver as well. So it's like a cut off handle, not like the really big bulky one like this. It's harder to work around in things, so you can use this for other things. So it's really quite cool. It'd be nice if it's magnetic, but it's not. But this one is, but it's just awkward. Anyway, let's have a look at the fans. The fans are 120 mil. They go from 600 to 800 RPM in speed. They're super quiet. They've got shock absorption on the sides, on both sides actually, on front and back, depending if you're gonna connect it to a radiator or a heat sink. You can use that. So they include two in the box. Um, they're nicely braided cables. I will take it out so you can see the length. It's not terribly long. It's about 30 centimeters. It's a long one. So yeah. Then obviously you've got the the king pin, which is a CPU cooler, which I'm just pulling it out madly with my hands without no problems whatsoever. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's not really sharp at all. They're uh, not sharp. Ah, cut myself. Anyway, this is what I was saying. Like, it's like taking the word of Threadripper and put four heat sinks all together. These are like the smallest heat sinks that you can get with like a small 80 mil fan. Then they've just put it together. So basically, um, a mad CPU air cooler. But it is massive without even putting the fans on. So when I put the fans on, which I'm gonna do and demonstrate, it should be quite huge. And that is a big CPU air cooler. But hopefully there'll be clearance as well, this is the point. That it keeps the CPU air cool, the CPU cool, and obviously um, it's like the RAM, there's enough RAM clearance for it as well. You've got a bracket that looks like it's stable in there already, which I don't have to take out, which is cool, because normally you have to put these in, and it's always fidgeting about. That means you can put the screwdriver straight down the slot. It's got quite a few air things in there, and it's a rush 
and we're not really brushed, it's matte black on the top. Um, it just looks really, it looks pretty decent, it looks nice. It's got six heat pipes on each side. So actually it's got three, three separate in each chamber. So that's pretty decent. So that means that everything's getting an equal opportunity of dissipation of heat. And let's see how quick it's easy to put together. And it's got, as well obviously as Fred Ripper would have a much bigger uh, plate on it, but then it wouldn't work with anything else then, would it? What they should try and do is uh, change it around so you can change the plates. So you can just not buy one CPA cooler that fits one. You've got one that fits all like this one. So I'm gonna have a look at the instructions quickly just to make sure that I was right. So, right, so these are the mountain clips. These are going to be for the 775, 1151, and 1366, and 266. This is what I need. And also, I need that bracket as well. These studs that are in the bottom, which I said, these are for the 266, which I was right. And then the other bits are for and what I'm using now is going to be the 6700K, which is 1151 socket. And uh, that will go in there, no problem. And then on these holes here, you've got these little brackets or holders that clip in, and then it clips into the size of what you're doing. So 1166, 1151, 1150, 775, um, that's what it will be able to uh, also adjust to. Where's AMD then? AMD doesn't seem to be on this bracket, which is really. Oh, right, okay. This is the AMD bracket as well. So this is weird. Um, I've only got one bracket, but this bracket can be used um, as a mounting plate. So you can use this for the 266, 2011 version 3, 1366, 1150, 1151, all the 1150 uh, um, models and 775, but then you can also use this as a mounting plate for the AMD as well. And then the longest screws that are in this bag is obviously for the AMD and the four like, top screws are for um, connecting it up. That's really crazy. Good on ya for making it accessible. Instructions look okay. They don't look too hard, so obviously you put together. But I don't know yet because I haven't even done it yet. So, mm. right, uh, where's 1150? Have a look at that. So, yeah, M4 goes on exactly the same. How do they do this? Yeah, and it fits the same. How do they do that? That is really quite cool. I like that. Right, so let's just get on and do it then. I've read the instructions, hopefully I've stored it in my head. How to put it together. Shouldn't be too hard, hopefully not. Anyway, so I'll put this over to the side. Get everything I need. Right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with the plate. And obviously I've got to match it to the back up here as well, to the motherboard. So it goes like so. I could literally just use this as a template, can I really? I don't even know if I'm coming down. You wrap my bow when you hold me so tight. The world just disappears in front of my eyes. I'm telling you why. This ain't no madness. So I basically just used this as a template, so I've got it in there already. So that's, that's pretty decent that you can do that straight off the bat. Never thought about it before. So that's on there nice and uh, straight. That's how you do it. So you put them up that this angle, up on the top, squeeze it down, and then bang, it clicks in there. 
Then we go to the next one, which is the front way. Which way is this cable? My boat, when you hold me so tight, the world just disappears in front of my eyes. I'm telling you why, this ain't no madness. The smoke and the mirrors are memories now, the sun's gone down. Like a river rushing way up above. This ain't, yeah, this ain't no sugar coated love. Then don't forget to also take off the plastic from the bottom and then we should be able to screw this on so this way around so the back is exhausting cables in first So that's out the way. I'm gonna probably squeeze that through at the top. Oh, I'm gonna move that in. Just to hide the cables out the way. Obviously, put this on here, and hopefully it works. There's the screws. Right, so now I can see where the screw is. I can aim down and get it set to touch in. That side's done. Start screwing it down without trying to scratch it and make loads of noise like I'm doing. Right, so it just goes hand tight, and then when you get to a stop, then it's done. Now, we do have probably, hmm, I would say, okay, actually, what should I say? You've got about half a centimetre, definitely, for uh, more RAM to go in there. But I'll leave the link in the description what RAM I'm using. But anyway, as it looks like, um, you should be controlling this fan to the same speed as your exhaust fan because it is pretty close. So you've got one that's taken in the intake and then straight out. Now, to put a graphics card in there, that would be cutting it. I don't even know if I'm about to do that in this case. But look, I could barely put the side on, so. Let's go and test it out anyway and see what the benchmarks are gonna be. This is the most quiet CPU air cooler I've ever tested. It is so quiet, it's got two 120 mil fans and like the rotations per minute, I'm sure it's about 600 at the moment. But listen to how quiet that is, that's like 140 mil fan just on its own. It's got two 120, I've never ever heard anything so silent ever. And look, the SSD is hotter than the actual CPU itself, which is ridiculous. It's at 39 degrees, which is lowest core of the CPUs at 18 degrees. Um, 22, 19, and the highest point is 25. Even the motherboard is hotter than the CPU. What is going on? But let's test it for real. We're gonna stress test the CPU for half hour and see what we get out of it. Here we go. At the moment, it is going up to 43, 42, 50, 53, 43. I hope this does really well because having the idle power of a CPU cooler that quiet and being able to call a CPU like 6, 700K like that is ridiculous. As you can see, the CPU air cooler, I don't really know. Right, so it's going to be going for 40, 47 minutes and the highest point that I could see the CPU hitting is 61 degrees. Um, this is pretty incredible, like 
average is between the 50s. The highest is just very early 60s. It's really amazing. And listen to how quiet it is. Yeah, that's right, you can't hear it. So if we show you the time, and then you can see how long we've been uh, doing it for. And then now I'm gonna stop it to see how quick it's gonna come down in the CPA cooler. Look how much that just dropped, just like that. Wow, I am so shocked. <laughs> and it's still underneath the crucial SSD. Oh my God, it's even a below the motherboard. Incredible. This CPA cooler is gonna, I have to give it a 10 out of 10 for like how freaking quiet it is. I have to give it a 10 out of 10 for how <laughs> the functions of it is it's so simple to put together, but the function of the CPU air cooler working in cohabiting with uh, the exhaust fan, which is ever a cool CPU air cooler, uh, exhaust fan, I should say. It's literally super silent. It's not conflicting. And the temperatures are like lower than the motherboard and also lower than the actual SSD itself. Now that is saying something because this case is not fully air, it's more airtight rather than air cooled in. It is ridiculous how cool that is. I have to definitely recommend it. I'll definitely give it a strong 10 out of 10. It's super quiet. Aesthetics, I'll give it a strong nine out of 10. And the way that it's made that you can use it for everything, it's a 10 out of 10. It's, the price is 59.99. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. I highly recommend you purchase it because over um, AIO water cooling unit, even the AIO water cooling I had in there at the time, it didn't have temperatures like that. And the temperatures just literally dropped and it didn't have to ramp up. When I was doing Prime 95, quite a few years ago, doing loads of CPA testing on a tent, uh, yeah, test bench, um, the best sort of like CPU was like the Antec C70 and then the Scythes came in afterwards and then they started, the only reason I said like the Antec was better because it was a smaller CPU air cooler and there was no restrictions and it was easy to put together but then they started to um, make like CPU air coolers better now this, is, I can't see how this is so good you haven't got an AIO which you've got a vibrating pump then you've got the fans that you've got to um, obviously control. This is ridiculously just, my, I'm, it's so quiet. I have to recommend it like 100%, 10 out of 10. If you buy this, you're definitely not going to be like annoyed with it. You're going to be well happy, especially if you're into video editing and stuff like that. This will be it. I stress test the CPU, which ramps the fans up, yet you still can't hear it. And it was still hardly anything. It's ridiculously powerful. Definitely 100% recommend it. Probably the best CPU uh, air unit I've seen in a long time since I've done all those CPU air cooler reviews. Ridiculous. And, and I've done a graph of like which one was better. This will definitely be on top at the moment. I do have to do another couple more, but bloody hell, that is good. Anyway, subscribe, share, like, and I hope you did enjoy the video. Roger and out.